Welcome to Tooling Insight, your go-to channel for valuable insights on machining tools and techniques. In today's episode, we'll dive into the fascinating world of the Edge Finder tool. In this section, we will discuss how to find the center of a workpiece using an Edge Finder with a 5mm diameter. Set your spindle to a moderate to high RPM. When inserted into the mill, the Edge Finder's stub comes to life, wobbling vigorously due to its unrestricted movement. The wobbling end gradually aligns itself with the arbor of the tool, achieving greater concentricity. The wobbling end tries to roll along the surface, it swiftly kicks off to the side. This distinct kick over is a visible indicator of achieving concentricity. Set your digital readout or hand wheel to zero in that dimension. Moving forward, gently touch the opposite side of the workpiece and note the measured value. Divide this value by 2. Adjust your position accordingly and reset it to 0. Repeat this process for the y-axis, ensuring a perfectly centered position. Now, let's move on to finding the edge of a workpiece. Just like before, we'll start by touching one end of the workpiece with the Edge Finder tool. Once you've located that edge, it's time to set the digital readout to 0. However, our ultimate goal is to position the center of the tool precisely on that edge, ensuring accurate alignment and precise machining. The diameter of the edge finder's tip is already known to be 5 mm. Now, let's proceed with the next steps. Here's what you need to do. Raise the tool above the workpiece and continue moving in that direction by half of the diameter, which is 2.5 mm. Once you've achieved the desired position, it's time to set your DRO or hand wheel to zero in that specific dimension. This zeroing process ensures that your measurements and movements are referenced correctly from this point forward. With the center of your tool now precisely aligned on the edge of the workpiece, you're fully prepared to proceed with your machining operations, equipped with accurate alignment and the confidence to achieve exceptional results. Remember to always double-check your measurements and follow proper machining practices to ensure safety and precision in your work. Thank you for tuning into Tooling Insight. We hope you found this information on aligning the center of the tool with the edge using the Edge Finder tool valuable and insightful. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, we kindly ask you to share it with others who might benefit from it. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative content on machining tools and techniques.